My name is Raquel Gustafson. Um, I'm a nurse here at Letourneau. I'm the Sim Lab coordinator um, for the school um, and also a teaching assistant. Um, so today we are doing a um, simulation for our complex nursing class. Um, so this is our simulated ER, our trauma bay. Um, so we're doing a trauma resuscitation simulation today. Um, so we're going to have a patient that was in a motor vehicle accident that comes in. Um, our students are going to be playing the ER nurses. Yeah. to check for bleeding. Yeah, he's got trauma to the head, abdomen, bleeding. and chest. So someone's going to have to hold pressure. And then, thank you. Uh, airway is being managed already. So we'll let someone, I can hook him up to the ventilator. Okay. Um, do you want to get the IV started when he gets here? Yeah. Could you tell me what's going on with this patient? So he's a 54 year old male. He came in, he had a motor vehicle accident. He's got trauma to the head, uh, chest, and the uh, abdomen. Um, we've got the IV started. We've got um, this one going at uh, 500, I don't know, I'm sorry, 150 milliliters per hour. And then uh, what is that one going at? 100. 100 milliliters per hour. Um, he's got a cut here. Um, his vitro coma scale is a four. Okay. And what about his vitals? His vitals, the heart rate's one, uh, 41. It's been about 130 when he got here. Okay. His blood pressure is 80 over 50. It's been about that since he got here. Okay. So he had blood force trauma to the abdomen. I'm worried about internal bleeding. So you guys could go ahead and initiate the massive um, transfusion protocol and just give the blood bank a call and then they'll bring you blood. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay. FPO2 dropping 93, uh, CO2 35. So what's his blood pressure? 80 over 50. I see you both. So temp is 95.3. Okay, <laughs> which is low. So we need to yeah, him up. Bear hugger. Bear hugger or blanket. Blanket. See a blanket. So, so it's low. 